is. All right. Everybody all right? All right. Two to be here. All right. Well, I don't know. Maybe not for everybody. It doesn't depend on who you are and where you're at, what you're trying to do. It's always a determining factor to where you're at. I, well, I guess to your mood. Some place where you, when you're somewhere you don't want to be, it's the worst place in the world. Isn't that right? But somewhere you want to be, it's the best place. Isn't that right? Whether you want to be here or not, that's the best place for you. And I had this opportunity for you to get this thing right and make sure you're right before you leave him. Isn't that right? I heard a man say one time, I want to tell a man something, so I want you to take it wrong. He said, well, give it to me right. I can't take it wrong if you give it to me right. Isn't that right? You give it to me wrong, I'm going to take it wrong. Have said all that at time to make adjustments and make changes and make sure what we need to be because they're thinking winding up and it's a crucial time for us. Going back and examining, seeing where you're at, we heard a lot of word over the years of time. It's just a matter of how effective it's been. And the effect of it is not the word um, not having an effect. It's what you allow it to do. It's like I had people that, you know, you know, take medication. They said, man, that junk don't work. Then you find out they've been improperly taking it, take it. You know, it might tell them to take it once every three, four hours or take it once a day. They done took it once a week. Yeah, that junk don't work. Of course it don't work. You ain't taking that prescribed, like the word. You take it when something happens, but you don't take it on the other time. Then it's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? You can try to use it to run to for a solution, but it don't work unless that's something you stay with, you know. That's what I had a problem doing before when I was in the street. I was running to it for a quick solution. It didn't work for me because I wasn't staying with it. You can't run to it and run out of it. When you run to it, you got to stay with it. The book said it. The name of Yahuwah, the Shimon Yahuwah is a strong tower. The Sadiq ran into it and it's safe. Now, according to our Torah, how do you get in a situation where you're not safe? It's good. Good answer. What happened? That's right. You got to leave the city. As long as you was in the city, you were safe. So you become, you're not safe if you leave the city. At that point, the avenger blood looking for you. Same thing with Yahuwah. It lets you know somebody seeking your tour, seeking your kai. Why would you leave? He said, that avenger of blood is still out there waiting on himself a man, hewing wood. And said, if the axe hunter flew off and killed his slew his ray or his neighbor, he said, one in his heart, one in his law, because of the tour, though, is I five two for two. So he said, let's set aside some cities. He said, well, that, well, that person can go in that city, they can lodge. He said, it one in his heart. But the person seeking him doing it because that's the tour. So you run in that city. He said, now, if they leave that city, he said, that avenger of blood found him. He said, that's on your head. He let him know, that ain't on me now, that's on you. So meaning he always done set away. Isn't that right? He done always set away. It just, man don't want to take it. Man always trying to find other alternatives, trying to find other means. When y'all going through here, y'all have to consider, um, there's a lot of stuff you see, a lot of stuff you learn, a lot of stuff you know. Everything just don't be profitable for us. You, you, you just have to take your time and make sure you follow things the right way because um, there's, there's a lot of, uh, get rich quick schemes and puns and schemes. Anytime there's money in something, people are going to scam, even with religion. Now, if, it, if religion didn't have no money, the people wouldn't come to it. You know, years ago, the preacher was scamming. And they still scam. You know, they were scamming getting the people come through as, you know, healers, selling snake. People tell, years ago, old folks said they were selling that snake oil. They'll call it snake oil. All they do is, yeah, folks try to see, I always try to see a heal this stuff. Hey, it's you, you, your about this right here. Whatever, if, if you ain't got all this, it, it, it cure that too. Yeah, they're right, mix up, they'll make up something. They call it snake oil, old snake. Preacher, they would call them old snake oil. That's how they say selling snake oil. This stuff don't work. They're just giving you something. But they see it was a market for it. People want to get healed. People come to church and get healed. People want to get in the line. You can't get in line. Money man said, listen, you can buy this right here. Buy this right here and do the same thing. So people start saying you can scam them. People started intertwining in, mixing in with people. And they started scamming. You get the Creflo Dollar Church and, and um, 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 Jake them Church and Long them Church. People don't know. It's a lot of scam going on. It's a lot of people coming in with them. It ain't, I ain't going to put it on the preachers now, but don't, don't, don't be stupid now. Ain't nobody crazy. But they'll have members that go in and they'll, what they'll do, they'll showcase themselves where they'll go and they'll speak to them and you'll see them with them. So you assume they end the end, they end to the no, and they do a business with them. And they just start going through just scamming people, and then move to another side, scam. But you know what? They'll walk out of them places, man, hundreds of thousands of dollars. They just scam through them. They look at money here, I might well get me some. 
The preacher getting his cut, then they're going to get their cut on the other end. But see, that's why you got to come in with the right mind to be focused to make sure it's on the salvation. Everything else I guarantee y'all going to work itself out. Everything going to work itself out. Make no mistake. Don't you be don't you turn on Mr. Who. He going to come through every time I keep posting to. But you got to always remember what you're coming there for. And just no thing going to happen. It's a lot of things happen to see where you're at. And they have to show you, oh, you're going to be consistent in your heart when you come down to your server too. A lot of folks, they only serve them because of what they got or what they get. They can't get it. They ain't got it. They done. They out. Closed down. He ain't real. Ain't, the word ain't real. Ain't nobody right. And then say, you ain't right either. You somebody. All the folks holler ain't nobody right. So that's including you, right? No, I'm right. So we to believe you're the only right person? It don't take long to find out folk don't know what they're saying. Ain't nobody right. Well, you ain't either. You say, you're a nobody too. The same nobody you talking about, you one of them. So that's all about, you know, you really make sure you're building up what you're trying to do and have the right character, make sure you know what you come from. I came here to be saved. That primary and first. Remember what you kind of have remind sir. I came here to be saved. Along the way, people get themselves mixed in the other stuff. The other stuff will play a part in it before you know it. You'll assume you're on the same path. You're really not. You're on the left the pathway. People do it all the time. You'll lead the path. Well, in your mind, you're thinking, I told you about that time I was a young man. Well, I was a young boy then, you know. You're still a young man, but I wasn't a man, you know, age. Still good looking, though, boy. Showing up some good looking back then. I ran down that street, man. I was going to run and start closing my eyes. just ran. I was doing my head like this. You can't do nothing with that woman? That's what I'm talking about tonight. It would be, be good to show them and get the night in. That right <laughs> Let her cook a steak, then go. That's it. So, but I was running out doing my hair, like, and I thought I was still on the road. And I ain't find out till that mailbox stopped me. <laughs> man, when I hit that mailbox, man, listen, my eye open. Boy, I hit straight back. Loom, hit the ground. That mailbox just sitting there doing like that. <laughs> and mailbox let me know I won. Man, I cut my lip straight across. I hit about that thing, cut my lip down. It's cut on the inside, cut it. It was on the inside, though. Boy, that thing knew it's some kind of hurt. I got by still had to go to the store. That's the worst store trip I ever made in my life. Because here in Gradison, I couldn't go back and tell my, because once I explained what happened, that was going to be bad business. I told him, man, I ain't going to be able to go to the store. What happened? Man, I done had my eye closed around the store and ran me about. You know, nigga, I'll kill you. <laughs> he told me, too damn stupid to be living. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I had to go on with that hurt and realize, uh, you because in my mind, I thought I was still on the path. And that's what happened a lot of times. You will assume something that's not actually reality until reality really struck and it laid me on my back and realized, man, I left the path. I was on the pavement. I had to, listen, I had hit the grass. Didn't even know the difference. Because to hit that mail, I had to touch some grass. I had to went out and hit grass. When I hit that mail, I was on that ground, looked at that mail, about just doing like that right here, a little nice shake going to it. But it was still, the minute mail, I felt better. It was over and I was over. But I lost that, and I was running. When them folk put that mailbox in the ground, they meant for that thing to stay there. <laughs> I ride down that street again. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm just looking at him. I'm gonna just stop and look and say, "You still here, huh? Still him. But uh, at the end of the day, our goal is to make sure we get this thing right. Yes, Y'all got it. Yes, so we're gonna try to get ready to move forward. Let them sound the cartel surround. We're gonna try to talk with y'all a little bit here. Woo. Most high ku dashaba, separated father, I do thanks all the two da, which is thanksgiving for what you've done and you rendered, for your being Yahushua Hamashiach, which is your son, your salvation, the anointed one, for all that he rendered, his zabak, his sacrifice, his kum, his resurrection, his dom, which is his blood that redeemed us from the Beth of bondage, which is the house of slavery. Baraka us according to your dabarim, which are your words. Barak us according to the Barif you Shabbat, which is the value you covenant to Abraham, Yatsakak, Yakob, the Yahudim, and Yasharal to their Tuladah, which are their generations even to us and our Tuladah. 
that you would establish us in the Amat, which is in the truth, that you would blot out all of our Qatar and our Ma'al, which are our sins and our transgressions. Baraka us and let your piney or, or upon us, which is your face, let it shine upon us. Let your piney be our encampment, which is your presence. Fill our law with your heart, which is our, uh, our hearts, um, with your affection attached. Uh, for we are Yakra by your Shem, which is called by your name. Be a Baraka to those that are watching in, to those that we commit to you in Palau, to ask us Palau for them and with them. Grant them their law of desire, which is their heart's desire. Baraka the out of towns and strengthen them and be their Nakum, which is their consolation. Grant them a reward for their work and their labor towards your Shem, your name. Search us and see if there be any Rosha Darak, which are in evil ways. Cast it from us and lead us in the Urak everlasting, which is the way of life. Let the debar of our paw, which are the words of our mouth, let the meditation of our laws, which is of our hearts, be acceptable in your own, which is in your sight. We pull out also that you will limit us, which is to show and instruct us and, and fill us and seal us with the Ruach HaKadosh, which is the spirit of separation, unto the human redemption. In the Shem, which is the name of Yahushua, Yahushua HaMashiach, let us all say, Amen. Oh, let's see. All right, let's try this here. All right, Romans 4, 15 and 4. Oh, they hadn't gotten out here yet. Well, why they getting set up? I'll read it. Y'all got it, Romans 15 and 4? I know y'all getting set up. All right. For what? Nikatab, or what, you know, whatsoever Nikatab was written, was Nikatab were written for our limit. To teach us, to show us, to show us. All right, to teach us, to instruct, instruct us, and to show us, okay? For our learning. That through endurance. Somebody just holler, Marshall Lee. Is Marshall Lee the answer? Is correctly no. Who holler? You holler, Marshall Lee. Is that the answer? No. A martial Lee is just something concise. The word patience is actually endurance, which is to go through without giving way. We said a martial Lee don't quit. It's just a way of just getting directly to the point. Okay? And Nakum. That's right, for a reward, which is comfort. Of the Kitavim, the writings, we might have a court, tikva, or I like your call, expected weight. Definitely we want an attachment, but at the end of the day, we want to make sure we're expecting something. Isn't that right? So that's what we look. Let's see how this works, even with this. Um, look at uh, Exodus. They're called Exodus the Apostles, which is Acts of the Shalakim. Shalakim is the sent ones. Um, see if that's uh, four and one. Let me see this one I want. Let's say that's what I want. All right, this is uh, Acts of the Shalom Kings, chapter 4, verse 1. Listen. And as they spake unto the arm, the Kahan and the take captain out, of the Marshal Take it out of heart because it revert. It sounds like a revert. It's going out there, too. He said, as they spake what? Unto the arm, the Kahan and the captain of the Marshal Khan and the Sadducees came up, came upon them. Being grieved that they talked the arm. Let me see five and one. Let me see maybe five and one. Let me see. Chapter three. Mm, let me see three and one. What did I want? Yeah. Three and four. Three and one. So he about to let's round in. <laughs> You're trying to get it. I can't use them. <laughs> that really fight back too much. <clears throat> so I heat almost made it, but when Justin, I use Justin to run them through tests to make sure where they at. Because a really got to be tested. That's right. Man, I heard that joke. Man, I am so pissed. We was in that the other day, man, Lee and I was out listening. 
I listened to one of that joke of Zamara. I said, I don't like that one bit. Then I looked, I told her, I said, I didn't like that one bit. That joke was so much false stuff on that stuff. I said, oh, no. Oh, I was pissed, too. I said, that don't even make no sense. I called that joker. I said, man, I'm going to go back over some of your lyrics. I said, start reciting your lyrics. What you talking about, like, baboons? I said, keep going. That nigga, uh, feeding them cashew? I said, that's the problem. I said, nigga, who feed a baboon some damn cashew? You know how much cashew costs? It's a metaphor. I said, you even met something else. I don't even play like that. I mean, that's false doctrine. Cashew? Do y'all know how much cashew call feeding to a baboon? I like, no. He said, you know, it right. You do something else. <laughs> yeah, right. You chimp nuts or something. Like feed some baboon some chimp nuts. Something like that, you know what I'm saying? They'll figure it out. That cat, that thing grieved me something bad, too. I kind of felt like how Shaul wanted a lady follow him, many of you, you know what I mean? And she said, that thing, that thing grieved him. I started to come out of him. Command them cashew to come out. I don't even play like that, how that stuff is. Who you know, hide giraffe lips. <laughs> All right, look at him. Acts of the Charlotte King 3 and 1. Listen. Now Cuff and Yaukanan went up together into the Mashakan at the hour of Palong, mm -hmm. being the ninth hour. Mm -hmm. So they didn't give a time, you know. The Latin didn't give a time, he did. Possible, but maybe, I don't know, six, three, four, three, nine, six, nine, five. That'd been what, three o'clock? Mm, okay. Let me see. I'm trying to think. Did Dao stay the time? He said he was going to pull out three times a year. At noonday. They said mo morning noon and day. noon. And Layla. Mm -hmm. That's why I check behind these people. I don't buy into everything mm -hmm. people tell me. So the time won't make sense. That won't be noon. It makes sense it's at a high point time. They'll pull out at morning, noon, and Layla. They said being a ninth hour, but the Latins didn't record that. Is it? Oh, okay. I'm looking. Okay, ninth. Well, both of them be telling lies. <laughs> I ate some, some baboon. Mm -hmm. I still wouldn't give them no cashew. Why well, I missed the ninth hour when I saw it. Okay, boom. Go ahead. I got a lot of looking at brackets. Go ahead. And a certain each lame from his aim's womb was carried whom they laid daily at the at the doll of the Mashakan, which is Kara, beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered in into the Mashakan. Okay. Who, seeing Cuff in Yaukanan about to go into the Mashakan, asked of alms. Mm hmm. And Cuff, fastening his own upon him with Yaukanan, said, Look on us. Mm hmm. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. See that? So I, that's why I kind of went over here looking at him. He was looking to receive something. He said, if I'm going to look on you, surely it's got to be something I got to be looking to receive from you. Y'all got it? Surely you give me it. What would be the person, the reason of you telling me to pay attention to you and to give you my undivided attention unless you're going to distribute something to me? We know he was looking for something monetarily, but that's the thing. But that's what they told him when he fastened his eyes upon them. What do they say? Look where? On us. Upon us or look on us. See that the book of Zechariah? Mm, no. 12. 12. 14 and last? 12, no. 13, no. 11 or 9. 11, 13, 13. I don't know. Let me see what 13 and 7 says. Zechariah. They'll call it Zechariah. But Yah has remembered. I'm going to play with this a little bit. Maybe 13. 13, 13, 11. Might be 11 is what I want. Go to 11. Let me see 11, 9, 11 and 9. Go down and give me 11, verse 11. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
13, I'm sorry, 11 and 11. Still mad about them cashews. <laughs> Man, I went and bought me some cashews, chocolate covered cashews. Man, I want them. I had my something in my car. Y'all don't even know what happened. I melted. Man, you can't find the nuts, man. It's just a block of chocolate. <laughs> I put them things in the refrigerator. I'm going to throw it in the I'm so pissed. I said, maybe they'll just come back together. I can break them. <laughs> Ain't no nuts. I don't know the damn thing. The, melt, the nuts melted with it. It just, chocolate just running across the back. I said, man, well. Oh, Eminem. What Eminem? What Eminem story? Hold on, we got a mic. They can't hear you. He said, man, when his grandma, I hear this one. <laughs> guy, guy went to his grandma's house, mm -hmm. and he sat down, and the peanuts was on the table. Uh -huh. And he started eating them. And he said, something, you know, something tastes funny about it. He said, oh, baby, they do But the, the grandma, what she do, she sucked the chocolate off the end of the and the peanuts. And put the nut back there. put the nuts back, so he was eating the leftovers. So. <laughs> that ain't nothing wrong with that. Just got to kill grandma. Like I said, throw mama from the train. That's how you do. Throw them on in front of the train. What other purpose? I mean, point, what you asking for? Surely you're looking at the diagram on me. Why would you put them back? Uh, all right, 11 and 11, listen. And it was broken in that yume. And what happened? And so the poor of the flock that waited upon me knew that it was the, the bar of Yahuwah. That said the Canaanite. And the Canaanite. So we need to look at why they use Canaanite. Oh, and the Canaanites were broken. So that, this, this actually reads different than how this reads. And then that, and it shall be broken in that yume and the Canaanites. Or well, then he put, so was he saying the Canaanites are going to be broken with them? The sheep that are kept for me shall know that it is the word of the Yahuwah, which these both read different. And it was broken in that yume, and so the poor of the flock that waited upon me knew that it was the word of Yahuwah. Y'all see that? Mm. Come down, let me say something. Hold on, stop. Go back to the level again. So watch. Okay. Go to the 19th chapter of the book of your Ukanon. 19, 19, 35. Number fifth. Your Ukanon, they'll call it the book of John. They'll call it the gospel. That's a God spell. All right, let me see. Listen. And he that saw it bear record, and his record is a mot. And he knoweth that he saith a mot, that he might a mon. Mm -hmm. For these things. Say, it's come up. Go ahead. For these things were done that the katab should be fulfilled. Might be fulfilled. A bone of him shall not be broken. You shall not break <clears throat> a bone of him. Okay. That's what the Latin says, said. Go ahead. And again, another Katab saith, What did it say? They shall look on him whom they pierced. No, it's typical. You try to look at them waiting. So they were looking on him. Y'all see that? So I guess what you were looking at, just like with the poor man he was sitting there, the person that was looking, because it was a completion of something they were looking for. I mean, it wasn't even just to the fact of him dying. It was just watching till everything is displayed out in its entirety. So those people were watching the scene. All these things were significant for them. 
because if he was actually supposed to be Sabbath, like we look at things, we look at it's enough for us and we're okay. But for the people that followed before us, they followed to every detail. It wasn't just, okay, he did, we can go ahead and go. I got to make sure everything's done and it's completed. They, you got to look at these people looked at this was their yasha, this was their deliverance. <clears throat> so it was important for them to watch and to pay attention to certain things in detail. Even when it came down, look at the time period. What was the time period when he was crucified? Well, he was uh, about murdered, slaughtered. What time period was doing this? When I said time period, what event we had coming up? The Roman. I'm assuming. We were love Pesach. Because we're coming up on the bread, too. But the thing was, we learned first that we were supposed to take a sheep or a goat from among the flock. When we cook it, we were supposed to cook it with everything in it. Guess what happened? Not a bone of it was broken. We we're going to eat his entire, it was supposed to stay whole. So it was that important, but I mean, the average just want to pay attention. Let's see if that's what it is, the 12th chapter, 12th chapter of the book of U'ala Shemut. 12, see if that's about 5. Al Ashamut. And these were the names. I think I said four, didn't I? Let's see. All right. Four, okay. Oh, my eyes. Come on. You got it? Listen. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his rape. I'm sorry, go up to three then. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Listen. Speak ye unto all the Adar of Yasharal, saying, In the tenth yom of this Yarek, they shall take to them every each a lamb, according to the beth of their Abu, a lamb for in bet. I hear that. According to the houses of their family. Every man a lamb for his household. Y'all got it? All right, let's see what happened. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his bed take it according to the number of the nafash. Every each, according to his eating, shall make your account for the lamb. Okay, everyone according to the Hold on, according to Make your count. Okay, let's see. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first shana. Ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. Hold on, blemish in my one year according to. Okay. Go ahead. And ye shall keep it up until the fourteenth yom of the same Yarek, and the whole kahal of the Adah of Yasharal shall kill it in the evening. Toward the evening. Sorry, all right. All right. And they shall take it, take of the dome, and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the bed, wherein they shall eat. Okay. And they shall eat the basar in the la in that layla, roast with fire, and masut lakam, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Mm-hmm. Eat not of it raw. Hold on, they ain't moved over yet. Go ahead. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with maim, but roast with fire, his head with his legs, and with the pertinence thereof. See that? See that? Everything gonna stay attached. All those things was important to look at. Let's see what he told us about it. Hold on. Let's see what he told us. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remains of it until the morning ye shall burn with fire. Y'all see how that worked? Now, he came along to tell us a practice in order for us to get this done. At the third chapter of the book of uh, Zaphaniah. Zaphaniah. They call it uh, Zaphaniah. Say that. Let me say it. Come back. I have my head down. Before you get that, look what they told them, which makes sense. Nothing should be left of it till the morning, and a bone of it shall not break. You shall not break. But that which is left of it till the morning, you shall burn with fire. Y'all see that? 
Ain't that important? See, that's all that's important for you to know that, right? Thank you, all Let's spell it right, soften y'all. Let me put it in a way. I'm not trying to do it anyway. Soften y'all. Yeah. All right, let's see. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right, listen. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted, to the oppressing city. Mm -hmm. Hold on. We, the Greeks call it ransomed. They call it filthy, but they're calling it glorious and ransom city. The Greeks not recording the same thing again. They call it filthy and polluted and oppressive. And even here, they call it provoking and redeemed city. The dull. Like Yuna. He called it filthy and polluted. They call it provoking. They call it redeemed, which makes sense. They call it glorious and ransomed. Mmm. Listen. She obeyed the not the call. Dull. She received not correction. Not she trusted dull. not in Yahuwah. They said in the doves. I mean, he started off with doves. <clears throat> then they came to the doves. They keep doing this. The doves. Which makes sense. Yuna is what doves mating. What is do doves in the warmth of mating? I think the name Yuna, they call Jonah. I'm trying to look up why they're using Greek. Well, you probably look up the Greek to figure out what you want. What you use though? What was you looking for? What's the the rage, or to be violent? Yeah. Yuna. Why well, I said I was saying Yuna. Well, I mean, oppressor. I mean, probably I could look at it being destroyed because you look at it when Yuna was going down to Nineveh. I think that what Mosul. It's Mosul. Mosul, the city in um, Babylon, in uh, Iraq. I think that's where I actually it was, Nineveh. I want to say it was Mosul. Yeah, it was in Mosul. City that they came, they were torn up and they destroyed. So it makes sense. I mean, they definitely destroyed the place. That thing definitely has oppressed. Okay. To rage or be violent, to suppress. Okay. So the oppressing goes back over to Yuna. That's why they put the doves. But think about that, boss. How many people would know that? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have the different, the different readings up to go behind them, how would you know what they're saying? Basically, you'll look at This is why people get so just frustrated. People just leave it. Mm -hmm. How you expect somebody to read this and know that? Mm-hmm. Right. That's right. Okay. They call it, James is called it filthy and polluted. Okay, let's see what happened. Let's finish up. All right, listen. She obeyed not the call. She so received listen. not correction. So listen, she trusted James. not in, Ye in Yahuwah. She drew not near to her Allahim. Mm hmm Okay. Her serene within her are roaring Ari. Her Shafatim are evening wolves. They gnaw not the bones to the morrow. But the thing is, they, now they, they use Arabia. They use Arabia. We know evening wolves make sense for fact, you know, trying to say the technique, but they refer to them as that. They refer to them as Arabia. They remain not till the morning. Because what was you supposed to do? Burn him. You're supposed to burn him. So you see how that played, that makes sense <clears throat> that what he referred them to was actually behavior they're going to have to have. Otherwise, you're going to have to burn him. 
You don't have to burn him. See how everything played into what he told us? See, before it happened, Yahuwah already had told us about it. He said, I declared it. I declared it in at the beginning. Mm. I told you about these people that were sitting in. And I told you what they were. They were evening wolves. And that was working out for a benefit. Because had they left him out there until the morning, until the union came, they were going to burn him with fire. Right. What was going to happen with him from being out of the box? Hello? These things don't make sense for you. That's why, the, the, the reason why I'm saying this, even with us not having the direct, um, the actual literal writings, we can still depict enough of what they have to see a pattern. Right. To why it was so significant that people were watching him. Especially when they came that he died and they walked off, they started breaking bones of people. Right. So that would be important to watch. The, so the people watching were looking. Because right. had they got him and they broke something, then we knew that's not him. Somebody said, well, you can't expect nobody to be 100. You just get as close as you can get. The people like us, that's stuff that we'll say. That's right. That's right. But for the people that were watching and waiting, they knew it was a debauch of Yahuwah. Y'all got it? And those guys are looking at, we got to get him down. It's late. Right, right. He got to go. All this got to end right now. Right. The other two, start breaking the legs of them. Get them down. Because they want to make sure they were punished, severely punished. Now, they got some say they broke the legs. So what was supposed to happen, somebody said, this is what some say. I don't teach that. That they broke their legs. Supposedly, it's supposed to make the blood rush down. I don't, I don't know how people came come up with that. If your blood rushed down to your legs, you're not going to die. You're going to just, I mean, they're going to swell. Y'all got They're going to swell. Now, the stuff that they coming up along, that's not going to make sense. See, that would have been very dangerous for him if they'd have done it to him because it would have went into another part of our tour, which meant that he would, he had actually played the folly because after they gave him the drink and they had broke his leg, his feet just had a cane and then his feet swole. That was already part of your tour to say that he had been discovered, that he had played the harlot. That's what, that's what it was. You were supposed to take it, and you were supposed to put some of the rocks in it. That's when they took this stuff. We knew they mixed in it. It was also symbolism so people could watch to see where his foot swell and where, they, where, they, where, his, belly, where his belly swell and where his feet start to rot. We would test them on every end. See, that's what the book told us to prove all things. This man was supposed to be the Mashiach. When he came into the, uh, the, the parashim, they told him they want to see some arts. We're the only people. You don't have to prove nothing. We'll follow. We good. Listen, a man's word is a bond. Now, when you talk about your salvation, ain't no bond for that. We got to make sure this stuff lines up. And I'm saying these are things that look at us. And, and, you know, of course, we started with the man laying at the gate. They said, Pastor Mark, I'm, I'm looking to receive something. People typically come in, they give me something. They know, it, and why would they give me something? What was your Torah? So, I mean, you said, look on you, so I'm finna get paid. You finna break me off, right? That's why they said he, they were, he was respected to receive. See, most people just think, that's our Torah, that they weren't going to cease. Therefore, you were supposed to open your arms wide to them. And this was only for a period of time. He said, until the poor ceased. So I don't know why the people come up, we're going to always have poor. No. When he's talking about having our way, there's a time period coming that that's going to be, that's going to be diminished. Until they cease. That's how long we got to do it. Until we get everybody out of poverty. He said, now you don't have to do it. But that man laying there, he was looking at people coming to the gate. This tour. Why wouldn't he sit down? That's why home the people hang around churches. They look to use the book on them. But they don't realize them people are Christian. Them people don't know what they're doing. They'll give it to you and come right back and steal it from you later. Yeah. Doug, just you remember Doug on King and Queen when they hit that man, when him and Deacon, I know they got that $2,500. They had to spin it up that day. And they were trying to get rid of that money for the end of the day before Carrie found out. And she got home. They were going around buying up stuff. Doing, they had a homeless guy. He gave him $100. They was just going the whole day. When he got through, he remembered. I gave away the. I supposed to have been putting a $100 back in. Carrie was going to kill me. He was trying to figure where he was going to get that $100 from. He went right back at that home. The guy was still asleep. He went in that can, got a $100 and took off. Hey, look, hey, give to him and steal from him. They're the best victim. Well, they got a cell phone. They going to call the police? Nobody going to believe the description of a homeless man. 
<laughs> you know, right? You know you're lying to get some change. So at the end of the day, we started him because we're trying to make sure that we got an understanding. And this is something we need to make sure we kind of secure in ourselves, that the people that came before us, they were adamant about making sure everything lined up accordingly. See, that was confirmation for them to see them people get them down and to pay attention to see what was going to happen. Just the fact they would have left him there and it went to the morning. At this point, we got a burn. He couldn't possibly be who he was supposed to be. Y'all got it? So there are a lot of things that people watch for. Like I can say, and that's why I think we get kind of in a situation where we say, okay, it's like your whole thing ain't working. Let me do something else. It's because we don't understand it. For people that were watching who were um, Talmudian students, uh, that, I, I teach y'all about that too. Because I, I know you really don't know. But anyway, but those people would have been um, making sure things made sense. This is something that you're attaching your whole life on. If he's going to ask you to attach your life to it, then isn't it going to make sure, it is going to make sense to make sure you got clarity about what you're doing? Why certain things are done, there's orders he set up for. And a lot of times you guys don't follow orders and these orders will hurt you. Ain't talking about, you know, amazing in the military they give you orders. That's all a commandment is an order. They give you, you get ready to go to your duty station. What they got to give you? These your, what that mean? You can go if you want to? People ask you when you get there, want where your orders at? You can't just pop in there and say, you know, I just had a, they want to know where your order. You can't pop up nobody up base and tell them you just come in here, you're going to hang out. No, you got to have orders. Isn't that right? Something showing that you were told to do what you were doing. A lot of times we do stuff. Where your orders at for it? Y'all got it. Uh, when Yahushua started to look at, um, let me see something. Give me 830. You can, uh, why don't I try to be long to talk to y'all and I get finished? You can nine eight and thirty. Listen. As he spake, these Dabarim. Tell him what happened. Many a on him. So let me ask you a question. What were they doing before he spoke? Mm -hmm. So what? Well, let's go with this. Unbelieving could be an option, or let's just say they weren't thoroughly convinced. Mm. I still got some. I, I still got some questions. I still got some. I'm still kind of looking to kind of figure this whole thing out. I wouldn't go maybe, but that's not impossible now. Because think about this: him just speaking then. When your one conversation wouldn't seal me or convince me unless it's confirmation to what I already know. Y'all got it? So no doubt, undoubtedly, or no doubt, for me, it would be we know the word. We know what's been spoken in the bull, what they would call prophecy. I've watched you, I've heard about you, but now this is the convincing. This is the, the thing that said it's solid for me. So as he spake these Davarim, the book told us that many, what happened? As he spake these Davarim, many among on him. So that's, which tell me they weren't 100% sold, unlike we were. All I got to do is see him, that's it. <laughs> what about the other convincing factors? Right. There were people had things about, if that's the case, you got to look at Yukonah. Yukonah had never seen him, he believed. Right. Hmm. Then he <laughs> He already yeah. told him. He had never seen it. That's he right. said, I knew him not. He said, but the same one that sent me, the Merch right. told me on whom I see the Ruach yeah. sitting on like a dove, that's him. Yes, sir. So he already had information that was prevalent to, um, to Yeshua, salvation. But yet he told, he said, therefore am I come immersing. Right. He said, that's the only reason I'm doing it. I'm making the way, I'm making the pathway straight. The people that came him already knew, purifying and cleansing. That's all you know doing, purifying the cleansing, because there's no way you get the raw hawk and die, unless you're clean. Yeah, right. He even told the, uh, the uh, Charlotte King, now you, what was it? Clean. What were they before that? Dirty. They had to understand mm -hmm. the premium first. He told them, he said, that's why I had them coming here. Right. People yeah. come here and listen, they were repenting, confessing their cartain, and they were being immersed. Right. He said, I ain't getting them nothing, but I'm getting them. That's why he said, I'm making a pathway for them. When the man come through, you just go ahead and start dropping out the rock. I done cleaned these up. Right, right. 
I already done told him. When he told him for when they sat there, who even told you to come? Right. And let him know, letting you know he wasn't just jumping no water. He said, you got to bring forth some pari that meat for it. You got to show you repent it. Let them know. That man wasn't just taking folks drunk. Talking, man, look at all these folks over the baptized. That man looking through them folks. Man, got that line. Yeah. You shouldn't even show up. I mean, you think he cutting down. Right. You said, you see them folks. That man, I ain't just dropping nobody no water. Right. Man, you don't even look like you trying to get right. Yeah. That's how serious the man was. The man cutting you down at the water. Right. Take me. He said, not this one. Right. You ain't getting in this one. Yeah. Ain't <laughs> that right? Tell them folks, man, you are two of dollars of Nakash. Ain't that right? What else? Like, who did one? Yeah. That man tried to tell you to flee from the ram that should have come. Yes. And them folks, that thing coming. You like, who, who warned you? Right. Everybody came out. Look, look, them folks had the month. You know what? Nobody won't get in that water. Anything. I got something different now. I made the way. I got I to gotta come back. We got to clean the way up for him. Yeah. Yeah. Got to clean the way up. You don't look right. You can't get in now. Everything got to be right. Got it, 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 it's just too tight. That man wouldn't even take him down. I'm not baptized. I'm not even mercy. you. Right. It's too critical. Folk bring something showing that you actually serious about trying to get this thing right. A lot of folk, y'all popped up, just came and just got it. That's why a lot of y'all been lagging so long. They take it down, let it be. That's on you. Then you got sideways or quick. They ain't to say because he questioned people and went through and made a brain something that some didn't get off. But it's the fact though, people done took their thing and you done made a mess out of it now. Right. Right. You have a whole bunch of years where you just got scarred up time. And time that should have been you for time, you ain't really got none in. Right. So now we got to come back like Bud told. We got to redeem the time. Right. And everybody got to come back and get this thing and make sure we get the full value out of it. Because right. the truth is, we hadn't. This man done said all kind, man, this COVID is still out here and going. But man, look at him. Folks just about living like COVID don't even exist no more. A little while ago, just listen, just a little while ago, you were masked in where you went. It wasn't long, no bathrooms open. Everything closed. I mean, the, the, the world still screwed up on them. You know, how some stuff here. But look how the man done pull us out. Folks soon forget. I mean, we won. the only folk coming to serve. Now these bastards ran back in his Jesus hell hole yep. like he done had some power. Where the man was the whole time? Cause we, yeah. we never closed the door. Right. We stayed open. Yes, I mean, in preaching me, I'm sorry. I tell him, um, uh, Mr. CEO, uh, when you think uh, we, we, the church went, he said, he said, I ain't never told y'all to close. <laughs> they said, trying to put it. He said, he said, I never told y'all. He said, I expect y'all to be responsible. Right. They're trying to act like the county had them closed. I had you close. I mean, like, he closed us. He said, be clear. He said, I ain't never told y'all to close. Right. They will put out of everyone. Air, to go back to a church is embarrassing. Fold them for God. They ought to be buried. All them folks stayed closed for how long? Yeah. All of a sudden, you don't pop back in her like Jesus Christ superstar. Right. I don't have no respect for no Christian, That's man. Right. Where y'all were when, COVID, when, you, when the cough yeah. came out? Right. A strong cough shut them down. Yeah. What power you got? Them niggas shut down every program, every service. Man, please. That's a, that downright. For a prayer to run out here and brag about being a Christian. So are you serious? Y'all niggas were closed for a year. Yep. They got church with clothes for it. They was putting the time back. Yep. We're looking to open September. I had a meeting. Man, we said, yeah, we're looking to open September. Man, they were back like, man, they're probably like up in June or something. They had been closed. They said, we try, we shooting for September. If nothing don't happen, it's terrible. I like to myself, what do y'all believe? I can't use you whoever he can't keep me. When it, are you serious? These people don't even question the fact that you can even be kept. Your own preacher don't even believe it. How how you believe in more than your preacher? He the one that's stealing in you. Whole thing rotten. Okay. When he spake these things, many are minding him. Let's see what he told them. Then said Yahushua to those Yahudim, which are mine on him. If you do what? Continue in my debar, then are ye my Talmudim indeed. So what were they before? Because now he's telling them to continue. See, once you get the pair, this, this is what you find out a lot of y'all have done. You broke away. Mm. People broke cadence. It's like when you getting people order with four marches. You walk out, you gonna, it's going to show you up. You, they mind you just take off to let everybody going straight. Left, right, left, you right, left, right. That, that's not going to work. You're going to show up. You ain't keeping up with K. You don't broke ranks. And folk done took off and went their own way. And that's what happened. That's why I told them. They had to stay with it, though. 
Let me ask you a question. You know how many folk believe and stop? Yeah. How many times? Y'all have met folk, you know what I'm saying? I, I used to believe what you believe. What happened? Wow. What changed? That's right. Because of what, though? Because the preacher wasn't right, the word wasn't right, or they, they started doing something they wanted to do. Right. And that's what he had to tell them. See, what we mess up at, I believe. But you got to, the, the important part was, they had to continue. Right. Meaning you had to stay with it. Right. Hello? That's what happened. A lot of y'all have <laughs> you serve. You, you think you kind of you sway. You sway. You don't serve it. You get what I'm saying? They have been tossed to and fro. Other doctrines, other information will get you off too. It's real important to make sure. Why? Why would he tell? Them? Once they believe, he, he supposed to just told them just go sit down and wait on the Holy Ghost. <laughs> or the Christian call it. Cause it don't work like that. You gotta stay with it. Yeah. Why you think he told them to let him that's taught? With all different kind of folks on the internet. You don't need to keep talking to him to teach it. Why y'all think why y'all think the time needs to stay with him? Make sure they ain't get off. Make sure no other information that come in and get them swayed or get them perverted. Now people will do that. That's why Shaul and how he marveled how soon they were removed from him that that he awkward them. That's why we call him. Into the con, unto another. You went, but it ain't another one. That's real bad. You went to somewhere and it ain't there. It didn't even happen. You didn't even go nowhere. Was, and he said it'd be something that would trouble you. And they would try to pervert, which just cause you to deviate. They would. They'll call you. To, they'll get you to deviate. And that's that's why if you watch before he got in that conversation, Mushar had told her, "Don't turn to the right or to the left." Y'all hear that right? Because he said pervert. That's it. This caused you to deviate. So the plan was, the cadence call was to go straight. That's your orders. Go straight. Isn't that right? Even with Shaul, you know, when he was going to Damascus, for some reason they wanted to go down the straight street. What street was you on? If you was on it, continue. If you weren't, you need to get on it. Go on straight street. Make sure you, let's get on straight street before we do anything. Let's get on straight street. Ain't that right? And that's what we got to try to do. Get for what it got to do. Get you back on straight street. Hello? Because somewhere along the line, we veer and think that we think are casual aren't casual. They're actually condemning. That declared to be wrong. Declared to be wrong. That one inspector. Inspector just can't come look. They're going to check a couple of things. Before they come through, they're going to look at support beams. They're going to look at foundational cracks. and so, Something that's critical. Something that's stuff critical on that. You look at because you look at, you can already see it cracking. It's going to go and it's going to become a problem. And sometimes you have to bring a foundation expert out there. Somebody can come in and test and check the foundation, make sure it's solid enough, they can steal holes. They're like, oh, you can get wounded too, but you can still stand. Then some stuff you see, it just can't be repaired. Y'all got it? And that's what y'all want to be mindful of. See, along the way, what'll happen, we get to looking at things and trying to do stuff out here, and we don't want to let them take precedence over this, that what's on the inside, that in the fire. Right. Just like you got to have a house or somewhere to habitate at, <clears throat> the Ruach HaKadosh got to have one too. And they come to you and they find, I can't, have a, I can't cohabitate there because you can't follow orders. You got a problem keeping cadence. So I can't use you. That dead tight can't use you. So that, that's what we're looking at. Let's see what he told them. Yeah, but he told them if they continued in it, in my the bar, you shall be my Talmudin. He said, indeed, you're going to be one. Why wouldn't I? If I do everything he told me to do, what over? You the devil. You ain't nothing but Satan. Everything that man tell you, do it. Wow. Mm. The man said, if you do everything I tell you, he said, then you. You my you my taught ones. Mm -hmm. Surely people are gonna see you've been taught by me. Hello? Yes, sir. That was the purpose of why they grabbed the uh Shalakim that they called the apostle. Cause they could tell they had been with him. Mm -hmm. The books that they took knowledge that he had been with him. Right. The conversation, they saw the reaction, the behavior, and how they were st studious about not willing to veer from what they had saw, what they seen him do. They said, sure, they damn been with this man. Mm. Then that right. That's who they kept communicating with. Then y'all look at where you communicate at. Everybody a dog web, all these webs. 
I tell y'all, whales set the cat. Anybody know the whale's a whale? Mm -hmm. The trap said to catch somebody. You got to be careful about stuff. Now, let me tell you something. Even if you go on now to just go look up how to spell cat, spell it close you want to. It's a whale. They're designed to catch you. I assure you, they, they ain't going to be your end. You're going to look up something else. So I pull you in. Why y'all think, it, man, I, I talked to an older white guy years ago. He's been on the radio. I, had a, I think a couple of them called me. I used to tell them about how they can go on the internet. That's how, that's how I, don't, I don't go on the internet. I was trying to figure out why. They said, I, I had a problem with the community. They, they wound up getting into stuff and porn. They said, they said I just listened to you on the radio. They, they, I was I like, me, I go, I ain't got no reason to look up no naked boot on no computer. But some people, they, I don't think nobody started. It just, you keep going. And before you know it, it's a web. It's a web. Nobody's going to walk into it. They can see it. How many of y'all don't walk before you say, oh, yeah. It's designed for you not to see it. If the insect can see it, he's not going into it. Right. Right. Yep. Guess I'm call you a bug's life. Now, you don't see it. You get yourself caught up. This stuff, a lot of this stuff out here, man, you can't fool with this stuff, man. Even You have to know how to end out. Kind of like what Yahushua did when he came in the Kai, lead them in and, and lead them out and bring them back in again. Because they can't do it by themselves. Man, you get to plan with this stuff, you get the surgeon looking, and folk be thinking they be finding stuff, and nobody can find it. Anything you type on that computer, they can find it. I don't know where y'all get this shit from. All this stuff plugged in one, one box. I don't know what they're thinking. Hypothetically, lead computer, three computers. Where y'all think all these computer ring get the information from? This one pulled from a different data box than this one. And I'm pulled from that. Are y'all serious? You don't think the CIA, FBI know how to spell dark <laughs> and web and put it together? Can you be that stupid? NSA? That's crazy. I don't know what y'all thinking. And nothing you pull up they don't know about. They're just going to let you think you got something. Before they gave it to you, they handled it. Yeah. They don't give you nothing they ain't handled. That's right. They don't give you nothing they hadn't handled. These people not stupid. These folks got cell phones. These folks had cell phones in the 50s. They had car phones in the 50s. We didn't get cell phones and car phones till late 80s. They had been handling these things for over 30 some years. Where are these folks getting this stuff from? Nobody had no cell phones in those 70s. Well, these niggas ain't had a house phone. You were paying on house phones. Man, you had them bare soft phones. Y'all young. We had, you paying $16 a month, $5 a month. Six. It's so many older people who had a house phone that paid them and did. They never told them you could buy them. They was renting those phones. You couldn't even buy a phone. You paid on them. Nobody come, you can't afford no phone. You pay it on. My bill charge you monthly on the phone. Your bill can't, no, you cannot buy no phone. Don't listen to these folks. By the time car the phone come, you can buy them. You couldn't buy no phone. You had to get, nobody had All that stuff was locked in the one. They had a monopoly on it. You could only get it from my bill. at t sold no phone. You couldn't get that stuff in there. It was my bill. You had to get them phone from them. They gave you them phones. You paid on them phone for however long. Then years down down the road, then you can start going for, start buying these little cartlet phones and start getting them a little cheap on them phones tore up all the time. Yeah. Them Marbell bone phones, that little plate come out when you mash them down on them, you just lay it back on top of them. We dropped out, that thing was solid though. You could drop that thing, whatever you want to do, that thing still down and work. Time done changed now, they give you this stuff, it come in, now everybody now, they got a phone, the FBI can't get it. Yeah, sure they can't. Sure they can't. How you getting your phone? If anything go out, something can come in it. Yep. Isn't that right? I don't know what folks think about. Yes, if something going out of it, it can come back in it. Yes, these folks work you like that. Don't let these folks make no fool out of you. <laughs> these folks work this stuff, man. They just make these folks think they're smart. Y'all know how much money in here making folks think they're smarter than them? Going right down the supermarket, going right down that federal prison. There's a lot of folks smarter than you. And you ain't going to believe where they're at. In prison? Because they thought they were smart, too. I don't know what these folks think about. Man, that shit hooked to the internet. That shit caught and goes out your house and run through some line. Where is it going? That shit hitting satellite. It's too much stuff. You connecting right back to you. Y'all not know these people control everything they go. 
Shit, you watch the TV, TV watching you. But they don't know how to go on for some reason, they don't know how to spell dogweb.com. Boy, when they learn how to do that one day, boy, everybody in trouble. Don't, shh, don't tell them. Call me on the dog web. Man, I better start. That's like that same stuff that came up with Bitcoin. Yeah, you get Bitcoin. That, the folks can't get it. Man, they met around that somebody. I can grab some of that $5 million. FBI said, we got it. <laughs> Gave it right back to them. They've they been getting the Bitcoin. I don't know what nobody was thinking. They've been getting Bitcoin. They just want, you actually think these folks will let you trade something that they don't know about. It's impossible. You got a wallet. You got a dress. How you send me some an address? That shit running through a system. You don't think these folks catching this? They're like your IP address. That's crazy. But it sounds good to y'all. Because they, they, they don't see no cards on their phone. They thinking they can't catch in hell. <laughs> stop it. Just stop it. Y'all come out of this little silly word these folks give y'all. Just do right. That's the biggest thing. Just do right. The time you wait trying to do that thing ain't worth the time, man. I get, I rather waste my time living right. Whatever gonna be for you, I guarantee you, they can't stop it. They can't take it. Yahushua told me again. He said, "Those you giving me," he said, "Nobody can take them from me." He said, "You greater than all." He said, "And nobody can take nothing from you." See, the only problem we got, we worry about what folk can take. You can't take nothing unless he let you do it. Same thing Yahushua told me. Came out. He said, "You can't have nothing, nothing owe me unless he give it to you." So what they tell you? It is somebody over you. See, before we put out living man shit, I don't know where y'all get it. Why you should tell him the living man? Right. Why he didn't give him his UCC number? Right. That man sat right there and took them orders. You thought that he, he'd have been better on paperwork than anybody we got. Why you who should then pull that stuff with them? Let put them say, sit at the 18th chapter right quick, you can not. I don't see what a UCC code was. I know there's a lot of folks out here. You said 1911? Is that what you said? Okay. Goodness. I know, A ain't working out too well. Let's do 18 and 1. Read down. We'll see where you at. We'll check it. Uh, 18 and 1. Let's see. Listen. When Yahushua had spoken these Dabarim, he went forth with his Talmudim over the brook, Cedron, where was a gun into, wit, into the which he entered, and his Talmudim. Mm -hmm. And Yehuda also, which betrayed him, knew the Malkum, mm -hmm. for Yahushua oftentimes resorted thither with mm -hmm. his Talmudim. Mm -hmm. Yehuda, then having received a band of Anashim and officers from the Rosh Kohanim and Parashim, cometh thither with lanterns and torches and weapons. Mm -hmm. Yahushua, therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, whom seek ye? Yeah. They answered him, Yahusha of Nazareth. Yahusha saith unto them, I am he. And Yehuda also, which betrayed him, stood with them. Mm -hmm. As soon then as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backwards and fell to the Adma. Mm -hmm. To the ground. Come on. Then asked he them again. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then asked he them again. Whom seek ye? Mm -hmm. And they said, Yahushua of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. Yahushua answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore ye seek me, let these go there to rock. Yeah. That the saying might be fulfilled which he spake of them, that that saying might be fulfilled which he spake of them which thou go, gavest me, mm -hmm. have I lost none. Yes, I have lost anyone. Y'all notice that? Hello? He said he hadn't lost anyone. But man, he had already counted Judas. Yehuda as a loss. Right. I know what y'all are thinking. He already he covered that in his Palau in the 17th chapter. That's right. He covered it before he got him. That's right. Hold on, let's see what he said. 17, <clears throat> I see their faces. They trying to say he did lose one. Your mama lost one. 
She need to lock one more, then we won't hear that shit you try to pull. It's 17, 17, 5, 6, let me see. Yahoo Kanan. Don't be trying to catch up my, it's my Yahoo. You couldn't do it anyway. You'd be killing time. Mine got to be bad. I don't, try, I don't never try to say I can catch him up. I'm trying to get caught up. That's right. To meet the man in Yes, there. sir. All right, let's listen. And now, O Abba, part art thou me with thine own self, with the kaboo which I had with thee before the alarm was. Mm -hmm. I have manifested thy shim unto Anashim, which thou hast given me Who, out of the what alarm. What did he do? What did he do? I have manifested thy shim unto the Anashim, which thou gavest me out of the alarm. What were they? Thine they were. And? Thou gavest them me. And what happened? And they have kept thy debar. And they kept it. Let's see what happened. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. Yeah. For I have given unto them the dabarim which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have among that thou didst send me. So let me ask you a question. Now he said he had given unto them the same words that he had gotten. Yes, sir. And they have received them. That's right. And that could have been possible because they knew them. Mm. See, the fact that them among and on him wasn't because of his words. They're because the same words that he came telling them were the words they were already familiar Come with. Come on. That's right. Okay? That's These right. were not new words. That's right. These were words that he gave them that confirmed. That's right. The word they had already known. Look what he told. I he should have told him I gave him the words I had because he knew this is a New Testament. No, sir. And the Old Testament don't have none of this. Thing. No, sir. That's what it should say. Because the words which thou gavest me, words, not a word, I have given to them. And they have received them and have known in very deed that I came out from thee. How would they know that if they didn't never know what he said? That's right. That's right. You had to come from him because these are the exact same words. You are exemplifying behavior of the same <clears throat> writings. I guess y'all don't think like that. And they have a mind that thou didst send, send me. me. See that? And they believed. They had to believe mm -hmm. he was sent. That he was a shallow king, a shallop. Sent one. Come on. Nine. I Woo. Pull. Oh, 26, 26. Woo. There you go. What you do? I pull on for them. I pull on not for the alarm, but for them which thou hast given me. Because they are thine. That's why I'm pulling for them, because they're yours. That's important. He said, I'm not pulling for the, for the alarm, for the whole world. I'm pulling for the ones that belong to you. So you got to be able to differ When I pull out, I try to do that. Okay? Listen. All and all mine are thine, mm -hmm. and all thine are mine. Yeah. And I am kabood in them. Listen. And now I am no more in the alarm. Oh, they got to move it. 11. All right. And now I am no more in the alarm. Mm -hmm. But these are in the alarm. Mm -hmm. And I come to thee. Kadash Abba, keep, keep through thine own shem those whom thou hast given me. Yeah. That they may be one as we are. See that? Come on. No, While I was with them what you do? in the alarm, I kept, the, I kept them in thy shim. Uh -huh. Those that thou gavest me, what happened? I have kept. What happened? And none of them is lost. But who? But the being of perdition. For what reason? That the katab might be fulfilled. See, so I want y'all niggas to get it twisted like I be losing shit. <laughs> That's right. That's book. That's right. He want to make sure they don't get it twisted, nigga. That's right. He's the only reason I lost that one. That was scripture. I had to let him go. That's right. Yeah, that mess up. So I, I had to clear this up because I worked for the man. And he'll pick up a hypocrite in a minute. He said, why well, don't I going to try to say he lost Yehuda? And they ain't going to know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. He said, I covered that. Let's go yes, back sir. to the 18th chapter. That's right. Well, for have all kind of hypocrite and rule out. They be going, be telling you, yeah, that, that, that's wrong right now. He did lose one. Man, just told you I ain't lost none of them. That's right. Not the ones you gave me. That's right. Not the ones you said were yours. I didn't lose none of them. Yes, sir. So I, won, I, lost, I lost a son of perdition. That's right. He said, but that would have so the scripture could be fulfilled. That's right. 
Isn't that right? Yes, I could have kept him, but the book had to be fulfilled. Listen. That the saying might be fulfilled, which he spake of them, which thou gavest me. Uh-uh, see that? That thou gavest me. What was it? Have I lost none. You said, have I lost none? I have not lost any. What thou gave it me, have I lost none. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Come on. <laughs> peace up, bro. Peace up. All right, come on. Ten. Let then me. Cuff, having a sword, drew it and smote the Rosh Kahan's Abad and cut off his right ear. The Abun Shem was Malchus. Mm -hmm. Then Yahushua. Then said Yahushua unto Cuff, Put up thy sword into the sheath. The cup which my Abba hath given me, shall I not drink it? Okay. Then the band and the, and the Rosh and the officers of the Yaudim took Yahushua and bound him. Mm -hmm. And led him away to Annas first, for he was Abba. Mm. He was a father. For he was the father-in-law to Caiaphas, which was the Rosh Kahan, that same Shana. Mm -hmm. Now Caiaphas was he which gave counsel to the Yaudim that it was expedient that one each should moot for the arm. See that? He told them that. It was expedient for this to happen. Listen. And Cuff followed Yahushua, and so did another Talmudim. That Talmudim was known unto the Rosh Kahan, and went in with Yahushua into the Mount Malkum of the Rosh Kahan. Which was the court of the High Kohan. Go ahead. But Cuff stood at the Daleth without. Then went out that other Talmudim, which was known of the Rosh Kahan, and spake unto her that kept the, kept the doll, and brought in Cuff. And that's what I try to tell you. A woman can't usher. I don't know where they get that stuff. Can't keep a door. This woman here kept the door. That's right. All right. Listen. Then saith the damsel that kept the doll unto Cuff, mm. art A not thou also one of this Ish Talmudim? Mm -hmm. He saith, I am not. Mm -hmm. Come on. And the uh, Abedim of the officers stood there who had made a fire of coals, for it was cold, and they warmed themselves. I don't know it, so how that going to work with folks saying it, it can't, it's got to be hot for the Passock? Mm. That's right. These folks were still burning the fire. That's right. They, they just told you it was cold. That's right. That's right. The next Yom, Layla, they were going to be a Passock. That's right. So some just bust out the wind, just bust out all of a sudden hot. Nope. They were cold. Them folks out there warming us. They just That's told right. you it was cold. That's right. People that teach that it can't be cold. I don't know how you're going to control the weather. That's right. But it didn't change it. All right, look. And Cuff stood with them and warmed himself. Mm, in the summer. <laughs> At the fire. Come on. The Rosh Kahan then asked Yahushua of his Talmudim and in of his doctrine. Yahushua answered him, I spake openly to the alarm. You did what now? I spake openly to the alarm. What you do? I ever taught in the Sunagan mm -hmm. and in the Mashakan, whether the Yaudim always resort. Mm -hmm. And in secret have I said nothing. You hear what he said? He said, I ain't said nothing in secret. That's right. What happened? Why ask thou me? Ask them that shama me what I have said unto them. Why? Behold, they know what I said. Uh oh. Let's see what happened. And when he had thus spoken, one of the officers which stood by struck Yahushua with the palm of his hand, mm. saying, Answers thou the Rosh Kahan so. He should have pulled his paperwork out. <laughs> he should have told that joker, I'm standing on my square. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, if you tell me what alpha means, I'll tell you what beta means. Let's see what happened. Yahushua answered him, if I have spoken Rasha, bear witness of the Rasha. But if well, why smitest thou me? Yeah. Let's see now, what happened. Now, Annas, 
had sent him bound unto Caiaphas, the Rosh Kahan. And he told him he was going to burn well now. See, a lot of times folk do stuff you have to pay attention to and you have to watch. And all the man was looking at, and you saw how he cut the guy down who slapped him in the mouth, who slapped him on the cheek. He couldn't. That book. Say that the book of U'ala Shemuk 21. 21, I think it's 27. They call it Exodus. Allah I'm sorry, 2127. Do 24, we'll read now. Mm, all 20, go up. Mm. Go back up, go back up. Well, I'm on 12. Mm, go up. Go back up. Oh, 27, 21, 24. We'll come on back down, though. Go, go up, go up anyway. Go up 11, we'll come down. Go to 11, let's say. Well, we'll, go, we'll start. I mean, that's all the same word. Go back up. It's good for us to know these things anyway. I was 27. That's my Listen. Now these are the mosh which thou shalt set before them. Y'all see that? These are the ordinance or the judgments. These are the mosh pot you put to set before. This is the judgment. Let's say. If thou buy an Aubrey abode, Six Shana, he shall serve. And what happened? And in the seventh, he shall go out free for nothing. See that? He go out owing nothing in his seven years. That's why y'all got bankruptcy. They'll hold you for them seven years, some of them, because after that, they can't hold you to it. They show how much they fall out to them. Yeah. That's our tour. This is the judgment. Mm -hmm. In the seven years, they go out whatever, the, he don't owe you nothing. All right? Let go. Huh? Oh, 22, 28 is what I want. Oh, I'll get that. Let's get this too. Hold 22, 28. Let me sit with him. Let's look at these mosh pots. Sure. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let's go and get 22, 28. I'll say 21, 20. Then I'll come back over. Ooh, all I should move. 22. This will be good because a lot of stuff we do, we don't pay attention to, we don't know. All right, 22, 28. Sir. Yes, oh, my goodness. Let's see what he tells you. Listen. Thou shalt not revile the mighty ones, mm -hmm. nor all of the shar of thy own. When thou speak evil, or the ruler of thy own. Y'all see that? The curse to speak evil, or pronounce some upon them. Because that person is shar, that person is shar over the own. You know, <coughs> excuse me, you know what couldn't happen? And it was a test for Yahushua. Get slapped in the face. See if he lost it. Mm. I mean, it was. See if he lost it, Jay, went off and told that Joe, you're going to Sheol. In front of all them people. Mm. That was going to be real. Oh, that was bad for mm. him. It wasn't bad for the man. It was going to be bad for him. Because you're not supposed to do that. He shot over the arm. Mm. When they tell you pronounce a curse, he had the authority. He could have told that man, you're going to die. You're going to move for hitting mm. me in my face. Don't you know folks are going to be watching? You know what they're going to realize? You're not him. Because mm. right. you just went past the Torah. Right. What? People ain't looking at him getting slapped. People didn't pay attention to the fact that he kept the order. Right. His order clearly told him you were not supposed to speak ill. You were not supposed to curse or revile the ruler. That man ruled over the arm. Right. So you done done it. Then we know you're not him. That means he just throw everything away. All the works up in there, all of the healing, all that, the woman want to eat crumbs, all that, you, all that's done, son. That's done. All that at the well talking, had you asked me, she'd be like, ain't you that guy told that man going to burn? See, those folk were looking like she told, we know when the Mashiach is come. See, people, he already had a history. People were watching for somebody that could hold to the word. See, people stuck on him getting slapped. Nobody look at the fact that this man kept his orders. 
You're not supposed to revile the Elohim, the mighty ones, nor you supposed to pronounce a curse or speak ill of the Shah, the ruler of thy people. We'll go back over to the 21st chapter. See, this, this is where it shoot us in the foot. All right, this is the third chapter. So I'm going to get ready to get y'all finished. Because we're going to probably read. We're gonna probably want to read all this, though. Not, not today, but we, we, we're going to want to know. Because we need to know. Yes, sir. All right, let's see. This is the third chapter. This is the 21st chapter, uh, chapter verse 3. Come on. If y'all get can't... ready to take up a minute. I'm going to get with y'all to get finished. These kids, y'all get out as soon as I do. Come on. If he came in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he were married, then ho, ho, his... Ho, ho, ho. Where you at? Okay. If he shall if he shall have come in alone, he shall also go forth alone. And if his shah a shah should have gone in together with him, his a shah also shall go out. Hmm. It's tight. So I'm trying to think about Adam and Kaul. How did he count them? Both of them were in there together though. They ain't come literally at the same time, but she was in him. If you count the fact that she was in him, it's just like Yahushua told him that he was in the Abba. Hmm. But he definitely sent them out together. He ain't sent them out alone. So it had to still word in the way to me that they were together because he should have went out by himself. Hmm. As you count them in together. That's me thinking. Well, still, okay, they're right. If his wife, if he's married, then his wife go out with him. All right? Let me say. Come here along. Hold on. How would y'all use this? Tell me what it's like. I hope we ain't going to leave it like that. <laughs> Naked I came into the right. Hope you put some clothes on later. <laughs> now, it, the book declared by shot is certain that we brought nothing into this rock and we're going to take nothing out. That book, that we brought nothing into this room and that surely we weren't taking nothing out. So that makes sense if we talking about it going in and going out. So we had that premise already when it come to leaving that we ain't taking nothing with us. Okay. Now the book says, sure, we brought nothing into this alone, and we ain't taking nothing out. Okay? So it's similar to the same. That conversation alerts back over to here. Okay? All right, come on. This probably ain't important to a lot of y'all, but that's why you'll make a lot of little mistakes. It's critical. Come on. If his Adon have given him a Asha, and she have borne him Bene or Banu, the Asha or and her Benin, Shall be her aduns, and he shall go out by himself. Mm-mm. I see that. That's tight. Cause you know what folks are saying, what be tight? The Lord gave me this one. Then if you go, she should be staying. Yeah. If your master gave yeah. it to you. That's right. <coughs> That's right. So Dodge, you're gonna be the only one in charge of taking money up on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they laughing. So, so, come on. Ain't y'all heard people say the Lord gave them their wife again? Mm -hmm. So how, why they go with you then? You ain't supposed to. Mm -hmm. If he supposed to be a master, then you supposed to go out by yourself. Yeah. Now, when you went with the sixth chapter of the book of uh, Barashit, he told you that the Benim and Allahim saw that the Banu uh, on the sheen were fair, and they took wives, yeah. who they chose. So mine go with me. That's what I chose. These folks come out town. The Lord gave me mine. Well, if you go, they pulled to stay. Hello? That's why he said if your master gave them to you, mm -hmm. then you don't leave. See, you go out by yourself. That's right. <laughs> tight, ain't it? You know, they be praying at night, Lord, give me a wife. <laughs> Lord, give me a hug. Okay. <laughs> but you're going out by yourself. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's tight. 
Well, I don't know what y'all looking at. You ain't gonna believe it. When you who should left, who he took with him? Oh who did he say gave him folk? If he said they were his and you who gave him to him, wasn't everybody supposed to leave with him? I'm saying the way folks say if it's his. He said you gave him to me. May he said when he left, he went out by himself. See, you don't take long to just watch. That's why it's important to watch. See, you start to catch conversation why stuff makes sense or they do stuff. You try to tell them for when he was leaving, they couldn't go. Because I'm getting ready to go out. And he gave me, the, he gave y'all to me. I'm going, see, this is what I'm trying to tell why it's so important to get a lot of stuff out your life. Because you'll read through stuff, you'll think, you know, you'll come back and things start to make sense. Because it made sense when he came, he should have took all us with him. He couldn't, because your tour just told you. Moreover, if his Adon give him a Nashah, that's us. The, and she shall born him Benim or Banu. The Ashah and the Benim shall be his Adon's, and he shall not go forth alone. And, or he shall go forth. You know, the, what, the Christians watch it too. The Christians. He's going to drag out them. I do like uh, 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 Shaul said, I got to be all things to all men. See, that's why I told y'all a lot of stuff people will think they know, you really don't know. It's important to go back and read and pay attention to why certain action and thing happened. And he kept telling you that Yahuwah gave it to him. Huh? Let me tell you something else people don't realize. Well, <laughs> even if you look at, see, what folk miss and they don't pay attention to just from reading that now. You should go back and consider Laban. Remember something? His son's told his being told him. He said, Your cove have taken all that's yours. Remember, he worked for Rebecca. I mean, yeah, for Rebecca. But I'm from Frog, I mean recall. But remember, he gave him Leah. That's why he was in hot pursuit. Remember, they said, he's taken all you have. Because he told him, he said. It's custom for us to give the older one away before the younger one. I know what you work for, but this is the one I gave you. Hello? Yeah. Remember when he came, what was the conversation? These are my, my kids. Yeah. Remember his conversation? Yeah. Laban kept telling him, these were my kids. Yeah. <laughs> Your tour was built off of them. Y'all miss that? See, that's why I tell you, people don't really know what they think they know. In their mind, they think they do. It'll look like he did something crazy. If it were crazy, how'd it become your order? This became your order. That if he gave it to you, that then it supposed to stay with him. You go ahead and go, but you leave them. He told them, those are my kids. He said, had you came to me? He said, I would have sent you away. It was a way to do it. He said, I would have sent you away with uh, Shireen. He said, I would have thrown the Mohawk for you. He said, I ain't even get to kiss them. These are my kids. How much I got? What's that, 30, 31? See that uh, bar of sheet, 31? Tell me, let me see that what I want. See, let me see if it's 31 and 1 first. Let me, let me find myself first. Y'all all right? I know y'all tired. But see, I tell you, we go back and read this tour. I can walk y'all through it. I show how it go. But it don't take that long. It'll take a little time. Let's see that. Listen. And Ishama, the Dabarim of Laban's Bani, saying, Yaakov had taken away all that was our Abba's. Mm -hmm. And of that which was our Abba, hath he gotten all this kaboo. Listen. And Yaakov beheld the countenance of Laban. So he was saying that because, well, he ain't got the kids yet. <clears throat> the actual saying is because they had started here to become wealthy. Because the stuff his father had actually given, uh, Laban had given him, it was actually set for him not to prosper. Because he gave him the worst of what he had. Listen. And Yaakov beheld the countenance of Laban, and behold, it was not toward him as before. Mm -hmm. And Yahuwah said unto Yaakov, return unto the Arise of thy Abba, of both, and to thy kindred, and Ms. I will Fakar. be with Ms. thee. Fakar. Ms. Fakar. Ms. Fakar. Ms. Fakar. Ms. Fakar. Yeah, from yes, family. Sir. And uh, I will be with thee. And I will be with thee. Jump down about 28. Let me see what I want. 
All right, 28, 26. No, that's not under 26. That's fine. Listen. And Laban said to Jacob, What hast thou done that thou hast stolen away unawares to me and carried away my banuth as captives taken with the sword? See that? Listen. Wherefore didst thou flee away secretly and steal away from me and didst not, and didst not tell me that I might have sent thee away with myrrh and with shireen, with tabret and with harp? Listen. And has not suffered me to kiss my bani and my banuth. How, how they now, heal? How they heal? Because he worked for him. And he was leaving after them seven years. He wound up staying 21 years. He was only supposed to have been there for seven. See that? Your law came off, the premise came off of him. He was only supposed to be there for seven years. After that, he was supposed to go away free. Mm -hmm. But after he had found out you had given him a wife, I didn't want that one. He said, but I gave it in. He says, I was custom to give away the older one. Right. See, they already locked him into it because I, I gave it to you. Right. Now, if you want this one, you got to work seven more years. Right. And by the time he had them, he wound up spending more time there. Right. He wound up putting about 21 years over there. But when he left, the man told him, and had not suffered me to kiss your mine sons. Beneath. These mine. Listen. And then what he tell this is what he told him. How did he do in doing that? That was good business? Thou hast not now done foolishly in so doing. What happened? Listen to what he told the 29. It is in the power of my hand to do you hurt. Boy, I can hurt you. You don't know who you're playing with. Boy, I hurt you. He said, you don't know that I can hurt you. That would he let him know. I can hurt you for what you did. What happened? But the Allahim of your Abba spake unto me yesterday night saying, take thou heed that thou speak not to Jacob, either to or Rasha. Hold on. That, he never told, that makes no sense. He told him not to speak good. I don't know. He would tell him to make sure he didn't speak harshly to him or wrong. James wanted to say good and bad, good or bad. That don't make sense. Why I can't say nothing good to you? That the can me on my mouth. <clears throat> it made more sense to don't make sure you, don't go talking to that man crazy sideways. Okay? Don't go talking to that man crazy sideways. The Jane I told you, I remember that too. It makes sense, but you had to buy it because we were told it was right. an infallible word. Right. If you watch what the Latins wrote and what they wrote, take heed to thyself that thou speak not Rosha words to him. Take heed to, to speak not anything harshly against him. Right. That makes sense. Not mm -hmm. don't I can't speak good or bad. It don't make his talking wasn't making sense. Mm -hmm. You can't speak good or bad. He was pissed. Cause he looked at everything you got. I gave you. That's mine. You should have came to me. You just went out. That was foolish. I could hurt you. That's how he talked. Letting him know. Y'all hear me? So your Torah became being built off of the behavior and actions of these people. See, a lot of stuff we do, we don't realize why it's so important to pay attention to it. Hello? Plus, it kind of come into play in a sense as well. Saying, take heed to thyself, thyself, that thou speak not words to, tell me he going to be the ruler of the people. Mm. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> you need to be real careful what you say to him. That's right. He going to rule his people. That's right. Wouldn't it make sense? Yes, sir. You're not supposed to speak Rosha or the Alahim. He was Alahim. That's right. He became the ruler of his own. That's right. I'll walk you through it. Don't let the folks run. That's too. Appreciate it, Mr. Hill.